Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and jump straight into your reading. Let's look at what you're currently not aware of. Of course, I want to say thank you for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. It means the world to me. And if you are new to my channel, just in general, welcome. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you can join the tribe. And let's jump into the reading. Oh, and any information that you need to get a personal will be in the description as well for you, okay? All right, let's see what's going on. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. What are they currently not aware of? So we have the Angel of Strength, Healer of Ages. We have Hostilities. And we have Woman Holding a Coin. All right, so let's discuss these four cards up front so first thing that i'm picking up on what you currently may not be aware of there could be a leo possibly a gemini capricorn i'm even picking up libra energy anywho regardless of the zodiac sign i see that there's somebody here who could be very hurt <laughs> in terms of you guys not speaking anymore in terms of you guys not being able to get past some sort of argument you may have recently had with this person or had at one point like somebody here is very much holding on to a grudge and they could be like low-key sending you the evil eye and this could be on purpose on on accident because they're just thinking so negatively about you but if you are feeling like this heaviness or this energy of feeling I don't know, weighed down, especially thinking about somebody who you haven't really thought about recently, but now you just got like this overwhelming, like sense of thoughts about this person. It could be due to the fact that this person is thinking about you right now as well. Another thing that you currently aren't aware of, I think that a lot of you who could be feeling very drawn to spirituality, drawn to tarot, drawn to astrology, just getting to know yourself more or or better via spirituality there could be a personal path that spirit is trying to align you with to become a healer or maybe in this lifetime as a whole you were always destined to be some form of a healer now this doesn't have to be you know just one mold of being a tarot reader or being this or being that it's going to come in different forms for each and every one of you but if you're like getting this overwhelming sense of wanting to shift into like i said something more along the lines of being like a spiritual healer or a spiritual teacher that could be for a reason okay you guys are having intuitive downloads or intuitive nudges not downloads excuse me another thing that you may not be aware of okay spirit wants you guys to shift the focus from something that creates this defensive energy within you or puts you into this like mindset of being upset so if you find yourself thinking about an ex that did you wrong or just focusing on the wrong things you want to be careful of doing that because this could be affecting your money all right moments where you're having like days where you're not able to focus it could be due to the fact that subconsciously you are just focused on the wrong things or you're focused on the things that bring you to a state of being anxious or angry so you want to be very careful of that because that could happen a lot and start to affect your your finances and that's very specific for uh, certain people watching this but let's keep going Taurus what are they currently not aware of Ooh. what are they currently not aware of so we have ghosts and we have regret so yeah I was already kind of touching on that earlier I think that somebody here is in a deep state of regret for not speaking to you anymore not being cool with you anymore um, not being able to get back in contact with you, especially if this person may have wronged you in terms of like cheating, stole from you, things like that. Okay, we also have Apple. It says risk and reward. Okay. Hmm. So I'm also getting the sense that spirit wants you to weigh out the pros and cons in regards to a relationship that you guys are really contemplating deeply about when it comes to going back or not okay i'm thinking of what is the name of that movie i forgot the name 
Dang, how did I forget the name? Anyways, uh, with Apple being here, this is like making sure you're picking your poison, literally pick your poison. Um, so when it comes to a love interest, when it comes to even a job opportunity I'm picking up as well, like there's a need for you to make sure that you're really weighing out the pros and cons of what you're deciding to focus your energy on. So for instance, if you're trying to get a new job, you're going to have to make sure that you're, you know, weighing out the pros and cons prior to you being set in your decision. Same thing in regards to love. And that's why you guys are being afforded these choices as of right now. And even though you could be confused, spirit wants you to choose what makes the most sense and make sure that you're not just following just your sense of emotion, but also logic as well. Hopefully you get what I mean by that, but let's pull some tarot cards as well. I'm going to pull about four or five of these. Taurus, what are they currently not aware of? Somebody also wants you to take the bait. I'm telling you, I just get this strong sense of someone wanting to like trick you back into talking to them again or dealing with them. Taurus, what are they currently not aware of? So we have the Five of Cups. Hold on. Okay. So we got the Five of Cups. I believe that this is the... Oh, the Seven of Wands. I thought it was the Eight. So we got the Five of Cups in reverse, Seven of Wands in reverse, Page of Swords, the Full Card, and the Temperance Card. <laughs> Okay, so going further into this, yes, another another card, the Five of Cups of Regret. I keep getting that strong sense that somebody's spirit is just not sitting right um, with how certain things have happened. And shoot, it could even be vice versa where subconsciously a lot of you are unable to really shake the way someone did you, the way you know, a situation turned out for you and spirit wants you to be in this energy of letting it go. All right. Cause this could be keeping you from really welcoming in what's for you, what's meant for you. And with that seven of wands in reverse, I think that whatever this was, there was a reason for why it needed to be removed from your energy because it was just creating too much struggle and strife within you. All right. Um, I also get this energy. Um, you could have a, ancestor someone who may have passed over who you were really close to who could be like literally watching over you guiding you and your choices and decisions as of right now um so if you do feel alone understand that you do have a whole spiritual team that is backing you and your spiritual team is not trying to cause problems for you if you are experiencing those issues, but more so trying to show you what the problems have been uh, and get you to fall in alignment with shifting yourself out of these issues. Um, okay, another thing that I'm picking up on, another reason why you could be feeling like there's a lack of movement in certain areas in your life it could be because there's a lack of action that you guys have been taking maybe you've been more so in this like stuck position or just kind of giving up in terms of like you know focusing on the business like just showing up as yourself so you guys may be needing to re-motivate yourself or get back in tune with um get back in tune with with your higher self almost because with the seven of wands too this is also like needing to be more courageous or needing to like take a risk and that's so funny that we have the risk card here and then it's also speaking about you needing to take a risk with this card being here hmm i think that also too in certain situations that you guys have been in where you felt powerless it, you were never powerless. I think that spirit wanted you to kind of see things from a different perspective instead of like just surrender to what you were experiencing. Okay. And that message is very specific for, for select few of you guys, but moving past that. With the page of swords, the full card and the temperance card, you could have somebody who's like, stalking the crap out of you this could be a gemini libra aquarius sagittarius i'm getting aries energy okay 
Also, okay, if you keep tabs on a, a love interest or a friend via social media, you want to make sure that you're not doing that because all that's going to do is irritate you and put you into a space of, of not being able to move forward. But somebody here could be keeping tabs on you uh, and, and wanting to see what you're up to, especially like an ex as well. Hmm. But I think I'm going to leave the reading here. I hope that this was helpful and I hope that this was like preparation for November. Um, if you did enjoy, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe and I will talk to you in the next one.